What's going on you guys? That's a great way to start this video. It's Father's Day and of course my dad is blowing his survival whistle. Um, today we are spending Father's Day making a survival kit because how else would you say? <laughs> Works. Well that's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh wait, it already hurts. Dad and I are making a survival kit for Father's Day because Dad thinks the apocalypse is gonna happen. My favorite story to tell ever. My mom and my sister went to Walmart to get him his Father's Day gift a couple years ago. So they went to the line and they had Twinkies, a machete, and Zombieland. So in other words, that was pretty ridiculous. So, it's just the person my dad is. I mean, I guess better be prepared than sorry. So, I'm not 100% sure of what he thinks is gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure we'll be prepared. So I guess that's a good thing. So, why are you packing this bag? So I know I can bought me a, because uh, for Father's Day, I got a cup that I can boil and cook noodles in from my wonderful son. And so now I'm going to go hiking. Yeah, he was paid to say behind. that. Man, honestly, I, I don't even know what to say to that, Dad. Speechless, that doesn't happen to you very often. You know, I could title this, um, Man Gets Lost on a Hiking Trail. Could happen. If only. I'm kidding. Oh. Harsh. Watch out. First aid kit. Why are you taking two first aid kits? Have you seen me? This is from the man who walked into the woods and came out with a rare skin disease that no doctor could determine what it was. I wish I was kidding. He can tell you about it. I got over it. A few weeks of antibiotics, near coma. It's fine. I wish he was joking about the near coma, because he's not. Did you even find out what that was? The cardia. Skin everywhere. I'm gonna title this video Rare Skin Disease Found on Man Found in Woods. That would be kind of clickbait, I think. Uh, not really, because you were found in the woods and it was a rare skin disease. Merry Christmas. I could tell him about how mom thought it was a pimple and kept trying to pop it. That was painful. <laughs> that was funny. I'm kidding, please don't do anything that you would regret. Why do you need a scalpel? You have to trick somebody. <sighs> this is what I'm having to deal with, you guys. I... My mom, okay, so my mom's been in Utah for a week. And I've dealt with him all week. And then Tuesday... Tuesday, I'm going to spend like three days straight with him. Okay, really, you're gonna clean, send help, if you actually care, send help. I don't know what to do with you, Dad. So now that we're done talking about him, let's talk about me, because why not? That worked. It's your emergency whistle. If you get lost in the woods, you can blow this so that the rescuers can find you. It's actually legitimate. You can look it up. I wish I could tell you guys that we planned all this ahead and that I asked him to do this for the video, but I can't make this stuff up. Um, so... I'm in a different power chair because I was going to a contest thing in Lafayette and we hit this ginormous bump and my phone went kind of flying across the school bus. 
and then my chair snapped. So that was fun. So I'm in like a loner chair. My new power chair comes on. When is it? Next Monday. Twenty fifth. So yeah, Monday next Monday. You're, he's not paying attention. I've lost him. I'm working. So um, basically, I ordered. Oh, I thought that was a whistle. Um, basically, I ordered it. Um, a promobile. Promobile. I don't know. It's Swiss. So basically, I'm driving a Swiss sports car because it probably costs as much as a sports car. Not even joking. I'm getting that next Monday. It's like an op. You melt the ends. Don't play with fire. With paracord. So that. Um. It's the M5. It's an off road edition. It goes like eight and a half miles an hour. So that's going to be pretty great. Right, right. It has a phone charger. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Basically, it was going to cost more to fix my old power chair than to get a new one. So we went ahead and was like, oh, why not? We had honestly just ordered the new power chair like a week before my old one broke. So what great timing. Um, it's been a little frustrating because it's been like five months since we ordered it, which is not, it's, it's a long time, especially if you're in a loner chair because it's not fit to be like a chair for you. So I'm excited to when my, my new one comes next week and for sure I'll, do, you know, most YouTuber people on YouTube are like, huh, just got a $50,000 car. Look at my Lamborghini. And I'm just like, look at my power chair. It costs almost as much as a Cadillac. I'm just kidding. Who invited you into this video? You're standing in my work area. And you get it. All about you. Can I help you? Yes, Jay. Our old van, the blue one. Man, that's gone fun. So basically, the front right is of the van is weird. It makes this horrible rattling noise. Really cool thing where when it rains, sometimes the electronics in the left side of the car don't work. So that's also fun. Don't pinch me with pliers. Do we need to go back to preschool? Yeah. That doesn't work. This is like a 10 minute clip. Seems like it's been a lot longer than that. Stop it. Okay, I'm done. So basically the blue van, you know, half of the, of the left side of the van, the electronics don't work sometimes. It also has this really cool thing where sometimes if you turn it off, the hazard lights come on and they don't shut off unless you unhook the battery. So that's fun. But lucky for us, we were driving through Lafayette. We found this bright red van, and I was like, ooh, that looks like a Braun Ability van, which is the company that makes like accessible vehicles. And my mom's like, no way. We pulled in, and it's currently sitting in our driveway. And that was in April. So that's fun. It's a really nice one. It has TVs. So basically, when we're going places, I don't have to listen to my dad. Which, trust me, that's a benefit. So. You got an electric charge. You wanna try it? Stop it. Like that nine volt battery you like. So when I was little, he told me that, oh, like this nine volt battery, I'll give you superpowers. <laughs> I was a stupid four year old. You weren't four, you were six. That was four. He just says that so people don't get mad at him.